This is the 2020. The 2020. And people are like, yeah, why do they look all old and boxy? It's because they don't really change the design of these. They don't have to. I like it. They're beautiful, exactly. Yeah. I you know you would too, because it's like kind of jeepish, you yeah. know? Yeah. yeah that's, bad. that's a bad motherfucker. V8 bit turbo AMG. Oh. Oh oh oh. how this lens looks all right guys so we're at uh, Bottle Hall in Kansas City at the KC Auto Show for 2020 um, there is something I need to mention Tesla is banned from being in the at this car show because it's dealer owned and uh, Tesla doesn't obviously have uh, third-party dealerships they are first party explicitly so that being said they have their own car show right outside the uh, actual car show. We're gonna check it out. So. That is so cool. Isn't that cool? Look at that. I do too. That white leather is clean. There it goes. That's so cool. I want one of these. They're 150,000 starting. Yeah, I know. <laughs> So cool. Three rides. 
around there. Well, that's too bad. I like that color. Like, if I had a Ferrari, I'd want either a black or red one, but I, like, I do like silver. Uh, if you had a Ferrari, I'd have to go red, otherwise. Ferrari red? You ain't even got a Ferrari. <laughs> really? So, what's this? <laughs> this F12, what is this? This is not a Ferrari. It ain't no. red. <laughs> Four thirty. For your first one, you gotta go classic. Oh yeah. Four thirty. Look at that, dude. That car is is like big but small, you know. Yeah. Love it. Here's the three sixty. For some reason, here's an Aston Martin. I don't care about that car, so. Nice. Here's another Ferrari. Yeah. 62 Ferrari. 250 GTE. Man. Rolls Royce. There we go. Anything is supercharged. Does that mean it goes 40 miles an hour? <laughs> oh man, 40 miles supercharged. Hey, that was fast back in the day. 40 miles an hour, probably though. Let's be real. Twenty fourteen Lamborghini Aventador. Oh, I, just, just, trust me, I was getting there. I love this one. <laughs> Isn't that nice? What? How how would I fit in there? Bro, right, you crawl in like everybody else. I'm sitting on you the just ground. you just crawl in, dude. That does not look comfortable. Oh, it's not. It's badass though. <laughs> this is resist the urge. Please don't touch. 84 Countach. There we go. McLaren. I like this. Yep. This is the car I usually start out with in Forza. Oh my god. <laughs> they give it to you for free. They want you to be fast. Another one. BMW wasn't here. What's this? Oh wait. What's this? I'm telling you what this is. <laughs> it's an I8. <laughs> Obviously, well, this is that. Yeah. BMW ain't here though. No, they're not. Guys, BMW's not here at all. There's no BMWs in the show. <laughs> it's vibrant. That's nice. But uh, it's nicer. I'm gonna file a complaint. I was promised no BMWs in the show. There's like one right here. Oh, me too. AMG E63 is the E Class. It's your boy. Except I don't have one. But if I did, let's be one of them. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a Second time on my channel I've had a Maserati in my video. This one's blue. I don't like it. Why? I like the blue. Yeah, I like the black better. It's very girly blue. Luckily, you can change the color, yeah. But I agree. 
I hate you. GTR. Yeah, buddy. I just jacked though. Bro, you picked that over this GTR? You are way better. I just said I like it. I know, but if you had to pick, which one? Probably the Jag. The Jag? Nah. GTR. Skyline. It's dirty. It's because it's <laughs> driven and loved. That one's just on a trailer. Oh my god. Never driven. I just don't care about Dodge Viper that much. It's cool, but... Yeah. Eh. It kind of looks like... It's 2013, looks like, looks like the 2004. It kind of looks like a Hot Wheels. That's because like they made so many... Well, here's the thing. Hot Wheels made so many of these Hot Wheels. Oh, no, I'm just saying. So, like, yeah, it's it bubbly. I don't like how long it is. And yeah. No, I agree. I don't care about Lotus. Uh, you see those everywhere in Oval Park. All right, let's look at the budget cars of the show. Kia. Got him. <laughs> oh man. Now that's a minivan. <laughs> Kayla. Kayla, wait. It's got cup holders, bro. Oh my god. And it's got a screen in the dash. I told Daniel we will never <laughs> own a minivan. Oh dude, I screens? Oh man! Damn, Kia! It's amazing! I don't care how many fucking kids we got. Somebody no, no minivan? No minivan. No minivan. No motherfucking minivan. Please keep off the platform. Don't touch the Kia Soul, whatever you do. It looks like all the other ones. What's new? I feel, I feel like it's just longer. <laughs> it is longer. It's oh, it's, it's, got, it's got squinty headlights. That's new. Even then, I don't know if it feels long. I think it's because it we're inside. To me. Oh, it's cool. This platform is dope. But it's kind of boring for me. <laughs> they... Well, this is one of their most popular cars. Yeah, but why would they put it on a spinning platform? It's not that cool. Some people think they are. Nah, bro. Drive around the fish tanks. I, 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 I bust around these, no problem. In, in the cruise. Anyways. Kia Soul. You sit here ragging on how, <laughs> how much of a waste this is, but you watch me go all the way around. Give it everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Oh my god. Alright, what else we got? Oh. Alright. Oh, what we got going on here? Is this the Optima? <laughs> this is the Optima? Is that your Wait, is this really the album? What is this? Oh, the sign's over there. Let's find out. Oh, it's a Stinger. That's right, this is the car that has the uh, Maserati taillights. Yeah. I'm not one for bootleg vehicles. So, here's the Telluride. Weird ass name. Now that's a dash. How much money is all this? <laughs> Tell your ride. Yeah. I feel like it's a super country. Oh man. Yeah. That's not very budgety. Not focusing, but it's 42 grand. I ain't bad. That ain't good. You can get a GMC for the same price. Well, I'm just saying, but you know, people like their own Oh, hell yeah, dude. Now, this Kia has Motor Trend of the Year. Alright. Oh, there's people in here. Come on. I can't make jokes. <laughs> I love Kia. It's great. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Give it everything. <laughs> and get nothing in return. Many more times than I am, I'm gonna stress that I freaking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Kia Forte. 
This one you want to go fast, but you. <laughs> this one you want to go fast, but you still go to community college. Boy. Got him. GT line. Oh man. You know, I'll respect this car when I see it in Fast and the Furious. Oh, no. Until then. Right, until Vin Diesel is, you know, behind the wheel. It's no for me, dog. Sorrento, hmm. I don't know about that. It, it looks pretty much the same as any other car that's already on market. Yeah, what is this? Is this Sportage? Are oh, they brought that back? Whoops. It looks like a frog. Oh, kind of Watch like out, Nissan. Nissan Juke. I was going to say, <laughs> just like the Juke. <laughs> juke about to get juked. Sportage. Oh, this is the SXT GDI. When you need to go places and give it everything. But you're still on a budget. You know, I'm glad there's a fine line between Kia and Honda. You just walked through there. Yeah. <laughs> there was no fine line. <laughs> it's just this. Ain't no Ferrari. I used to be looking at a Kia, but it's not. <laughs> oh, dude! I'll tell you why. It's the SI. All the bros. Well played. All the bros of the SI. They're the ones that like rev at the stoplight. At anything? Yeah. The Honda SI on the Civic SI. <laughs> oh. But you know, who needs an SI when you have the type R? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Shifting, bro. He's going places. Dude, look at all the places you can put your trophies. I'll be cutting that out, dude. Oh my Positive god! Positive We just like skipped Dodge. Jeep is up next. No, I know because Dodge is right here. Yeah, there really ain't nothing at Honda, really, no, or they Toyota. All look the same. Oh, look, another Prius. <laughs> Hold on a second. Like legit, I feel like some of these things just get longer. Man, you know, look. The team, oh, they oh man. Oh, hello Tesla. Right. Move over. Prius has got a screen. Mmm. Smells eco. Plug-in hybrid. Plug-in hybrid. Oh boy. Oh no, this is this is the 86. Yeah. It's a nice idea, but it's slow as shit. <laughs> oh man. They just want you to think you're gonna walk fast. The Toyota 86. They hyped this car up for it to be <laughs> meh. Interior. See, this is where we needed to be. From here down, yeah. I might. Now, no, I ain't gonna rag on this one. I actually like this one. This is super. Okay, I had an 85 super back in high school. It was pretty cool. I got the hiccups. But this, this ain't bad. This is pretty nice. I like, I like. I like the uh, back window, too, especially. I Me. Mean, Get a picture real quick. So. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 
Hell yeah, dude. Not That's a tight fit, isn't it? Not for tall people. 6'4"? <laughs> yeah. No, oh, not oh, having it. <laughs> He's about to get famous. He's gonna be in the video. I didn't get his written consent, so I hope it's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> prototype vehicle's locked. This is the one I wanted to sit in. What's prototype about? It looks like that one. It's red. Oh, okay. Apologies. Ooh, those wheels. Man, this wheels will be picking on Forza. Hell yeah, dude. The heritage of starts at $49,000. We just cut throat right to the price. Concept vehicle. Is it really locked? Oh, it really is locked. Okay, all right. If it wasn't, I was gonna sit there. No, thing I won't. I know you would. <laughs> Danny's just like, let's test signs. Yeah. What's this? What's 19,000? Oh, Corolla? Yeah. This is actually okay. Is this? They redesigned the Corolla again? That's a, I actually like that. I will say Moving though, on. I will say though, those edges are hard, son. They are so hard. I wish I had a camera to film you. <laughs> <laughs> you no. Crazy. <laughs> Oh, oh, we got, oh, look at the truck. The Toyota SE, yes trucks. I do. There's any new trucks, let's take a look. Oh, we came here in this. This is actually pretty cool. It's actually old. This is the TRD Pro. Why are there two different? It took the shifter out. I don't know if I pull it off. Yo, a Tundra with a built-in tent? Are we, are we real right now? This is part of it. Why are you taking the shifters out? As if we're gonna go somewhere. People can steal them. Oh, okay. Well, I don't believe that when I see it. Does this come with the truck, sir? Do not drive. <laughs> can people really steal them just by taking them out of gear? You can steal shifters. Is that what the kid was doing over there when he was shifting? Probably. He said, that Civic's mine, fam. I got blue. I got blue. I don't like the blue. It is dummy blue. Look at this. Yeah, it looks it's like Crayola blue. It's puking blue, dude. Is the inside just as blue? It's a crayon. See, they should have blue interior, would it? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. It's not very big. It's because it's Tacoma, bro. It's the Tacoma. Hey, let's go places. Rock. Toyota. Okay. Yeah. All right. Going across the way. Let's go across the way over to your favorite. Where is Jeep? Jeep's there it is. over there, but Dodge is right here. Okay. Did you want to look at the Fiat? <laughs> I got some jokes. <laughs> let's go look at the number one car brand. Yeah. Yeah. Fiat. Well, that, one looks like All right. a bug. that one looks like a Volkswagen. Okay, so Fiat's getting into the Mazda Miata business. <laughs> that looks like Volkswagen. <laughs> oh, the Abarf. That's right. They named it that because it was bleh. You the see bug it. Was taken. The bug was taken. Bug was taken. They put a bug on it anyway. <laughs> oh, Fiat. I can't knock it too hard, my friend Julian's got one. Oh. Whoa there, why is this Fiat it's so little, big? It's a little cute. Why is this Fiat so big? It's massive. Hell yeah, dude. I can't see me driving a little. Dude, just picture, little, just picture it. Just picture it. You hanging out with your boys? Y'all smoking? Decide it's time to go Taco Bell, you get it in the Fiat, dude. Everybody knows who you are. Icons. Hey, 
Oh, what do you know about these 14 inch wheels, son? <laughs> Look at this. This is yeah. turbo. Oh, we're going fast. We're going at least 50, all right? Look at the look at the headrest. Why does it look like I'm at the um, dentist? Um, the headrest is that close to the end? <laughs> the rear end, you're going to get a neck snap. No, they ain't safe. They ain't safe. Why are Nissan hiding over here? Oh, they are hiding, aren't they? <laughs> You know why? Even, you know why Nissan's hiding? Cause they ain't got nothing new. Is why. <laughs> I do low key like their Ultimas. Yeah, they're nice, but they're you know, comfy. What is, what's new about this? That I was see, my. Uh, that I, was I, my I saw rental. this in the parking lot on the way in. Oh my god! I'm just saying. Innovation that excites. Yeah, maybe four years ago. Wait, All this is they're, new. They're comfy. Nothing, nothing is new, but it's like not, not new. Yeah, they're comfortable. That's cool. Let's have a look at the inside. It just smells like every other car. Lie. So my rental car was an Altima and I low-key didn't want to give it back. Yeah, that's cool. But there's like six million of these cars. <laughs> there's six million Jeep Patriots too, but look what the there's fuck also, I'm driving. There's also six million cruisers too, I'm just saying though. <laughs> At the end of the day, neither one of us have a Kia. That's all that matters. Oh, okay. So, what's this? The typical Rogue? Yeah? I came here for concept, not current. Is it a Rogue? Yeah, it's a Rogue. I Dude, it. okay, so the one I test drove? Yeah. This is bigger. The one that I test drove, I literally was like in the dash. Like, I feel like they made this bigger. Well, this isn't just a regular Rogue either. Yeah. This is the Rogue SL, I think. Yeah. I see it. Yeah, Rogue SL means so long <laughs> compared to the other Rogue. <laughs> oh, it's so long, yeah. <laughs> like, it legit, it's, uh, it's bigger than the one that I test drove. That one was like a 20, I think it was like a 2013. It was a long time ago that I drove it. Dude. Yeah. What's this? Why is this one so big? This is big, beefy Pathfinder. Yeah, okay. Pathfinder. Oh, it's the Rock Creek Edition. Oh, you, you means you can drive on rocks and creeks. Oh, so no problem. A wannabe Jeep. Yeah. Grand Cherokee. Yep. Trailhawk. Oh, we're beefy too. Look at this. Look at that third row. Oh, hey. That's easy. Oh, that one ain't going nowhere. Well, you get the point, though. Yeah. Yeah, the Murano. Or Murano. Where's Infinity? Uh, they pulled out. Really? Why? I, think, I didn't see I, it I, on the sign. I thought it was on the sign. I thought it said Infinity. Maybe yeah. they didn't. Well, then it's further down that way, I think. I can see Ford. They're all lit up blue. That'll be the jokes. All right, I'm done. With, I'm done with these on. They only got like five cars. Y'all got five of the same vehicles you already sell, <laughs> and then a bunch of the truck. I got this truck. It's yeah. like a half Xterra. Yeah. A so, bit. so it's the camera's not recording after 20 minutes. I forgot there's a limit of 20 minutes per clip, and I missed like all of Dodge. I was recording nothing. So, um, whoops. <laughs> It wasn't, it wasn't much. I saw a Hellcat. I said, "Where the hell? The hell? Where the hell is the Hellcat?" And the lady at the booth said, "The Hellcat's right back there." And it was funny. And Caleb laughed. And but yeah, so none of that was on camera. Fuck. Anyway, we're in Jeep, so this is uh, my home. Yeah. So, Caleb, which one do you like? I don't know. I want to look at this black one over here, but. Oh. But why is it look? Like, oh, I feel like it looks. What? Is it, is it the wheels too, too, too beefy of tire? I, I agree. No. I don't know. There was there's a blue one over here too. I don't really like the blue color. Anyway, what I was saying oh, when I wasn't recording. Get my Jeep, yeah. They tried to get me to get a fucking renegade. I hate the renegade. No, I was like, that's not a Jeep. Okay, let's go over to the Renegade real quick. I need to explain something to everybody. 
why I hate the Renegade. I don't really care for the shape. It's kind of an eggy shape, but what I hate most of all is this. This tail light. It's an X. It's weird. You don't remember like on Windows XP when you close the window? You click, you click the X. That's what this is, literally. What's that look like? Nothing. <laughs> Looks like nothing? Yeah, you're right. It's so basic, dude. Boring. Huh? It's so boring. What's with, what is with these tiny wheels? Oh, yeah. What are these 11s? A meaty ass tire? Oh, what is this? Compass. I don't like it. I don't either. No. I feel like I've seen this already. Probably do, every day. Yeah. He's saying nothing new. Oh, look, a blue one. Oh, boy. Oh, I like this gray one. Oh, Alfa Romero. How you doing, fam? Woo, girl. Oh, you've got fingerprints all over you, huh? Huh? All kinds of guys have been in you already. Okay, it's not talking dirty in the car. <laughs> Decent sized trunk, you know, not bad, not bad. Any questions, let me know. Okay, thanks. Interesting uh, grill. There's color on this grand too. I like this color. Is that weird? Do you like it? Yeah, no, I like it. Yeah? I don't want to touch it. I like this color. Yeah. That's I a nice like color. This one. You see me driving this. Yeah. I like this way better than the truck. Oh, it's like a barn door or a, a gate door, is what I should say. Okay. It's like a gate door, dude. Yeah. It's like Jurassic Park. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Jeff Goldblum, like, wherever his name is? I'll be like, I'm just gonna call a lift. I'll just call a lift, because I you flexing on me right now, I'm just gonna call a lift. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you One sexy hoe, dude. Yeah. Lisa, this is one sexy hoe. Got like 19 people inside. No problem. Major shout out to Chevy. And free wireless chargers. Heck yeah. Look at that. Yo, I love that Corvette. That's the new one. Amazing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah.
you were like, ah, it looks like a Ferrari. Well, that's just by virtue of the generations that came before it, yet uniquely stands alone. Now the 2020 model has an all-new architectural design, but from the ground up this bold and futuristic appearance is still unmistakably a Corvette. Just like a jet fighter, its daringly sculpted design is completely aerodynamic and functional, with hidden door handles and hatch and hood releases that maintain that clean, sleek appearance. The strong aluminum structure with carbon fiber components is 10% stiffer than the previous generation, and by moving the engine to the rear, we've now maximized forward visibility with the windshield directly over the front tires. Now right here with me is our coupe model. Its lightweight removable roof comes in three different design options and can be easily stored in the rear trunk. But the C8's dual trunk spaces are unexpectedly equipped for ample luggage for road trips and can even accommodate two golf bags in the back with room up front to spare. You have more personalization options than ever before, including 12 different body colors to choose from as well as your choice of wheels, spoilers, engine covers, racing stripes, grill inserts, and beyond. But right up here, you can see our first ever production retractable hardtop convertible that flows seamlessly into the body, quickly raising and lowering its speed to up to 30 miles per hour. So you can enjoy the open air and the quiet, but without the loss of trunk space, making that the most track-capable convertible in Corvette history. Now your personalization options continue inside the vehicle as well, as everything is centered around the driver experience. Inside here you have three different seats to choose from for maximum comfort. In Mulan leather, Napa leather, and suede. You have seven different interior color themes to choose from, six different seatbelt colors, as well as optional color stitching. Now you'll enjoy the standard 10-speaker Bose premium system, but the available 14-speaker Bose performance system just takes driving to a whole other level. But what is all of that without the power behind the throne? Of course, I'm talking about the all-new 6.2-liter LT2 small block V8. Feel free to take a look around here. 495 horsepower, 470 pound-feet of torque, doing 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds, makes this the most powerful production Stingray ever. So now the Corvette pivots around the driver thanks to its mid-engine configuration. Chevy's first ever 8-speed dual-clutch transmission with paddle shift makes shifting instantaneous and faster than humanly possible, allowing for both manual and automatic modes. Inside, your driver mode selector allows you to adjust 12 performance variables to meet road conditions, and for even more agility, the available C51 performance package gives you things like next-gen magnetic ride control, performance exhaust, larger Brembo brakes, and much, much more. But while we're on the subject of performance, Inside here, you have your 12-inch diagonal digital display that's reconfigurable with driver information in three different themes for you to choose from. That, along with things like the performance data recorder and the exclusive head-up display, are going to help to improve your performance behind the wheel. But my favorite feature is the available front lift. Raising ground clearance almost two inches in under three seconds to save your front end from things like steep driveways and speed bumps and the like. And all while remembering up to a thousand different GPS locations where you programmed it before. So next time you go back there, you don't have to remember. The supercar is going to do it for you. And of course, we've got safety features like the standard HD rear vision camera and front curb view cameras as well. Starting at just under $60,000, the all-new 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray is the most affordable V8 supercar on the market. Show of hands, anybody like what they're looking at? Anybody at all? Couple of you, if you hope. <laughs> Keep an eye out too for the C8R, that's our race car. You're looking, ladies and gentlemen, at the future of Corvette.
Um, I'm offended. First of all, this is really nice, but I'm offended. Why? The lady, the Chevy lady at the booth just now, was reading something on her phone. She doesn't know this person is listening. She just said the word fuck. And I'm offended. I'm trading in my Chevy. I'm buying a Ford. I will not tolerate such language from a company I'm supposed to support and pay for. Yeah, when as a uh, Ford, you got a bunch of Hongi hillbillies who cuss even more than yeah, that. I know. Why are you over there talking about that? <laughs> I can fuck. It's played. All the all Ugh. Americans over here. Oh no. <laughs> you know what's funny is they're right across from each other. Chevy, Chevy with the Corvette, Ford with who knows what. Let's go find out, I guess. Are we done with the Chevys? Have we seen them all? Okay, you see them every day. Okay, so what is this? The Malibu? There you go. Oh man. Yeah. Here's a real pussy wagon. It's the 2020 Bolt EV. Nothing says, mmm, I can't even finish my sentence. <laughs> so fucking bad, dude. I don't like any of this. What? Oh, it's plugged in. <laughs> cool story, bro. We're saving a tree. Bolt oh, EV. I don't like that. Ugh. Ugh. No to all this. No, no, no. Absolutely not. <laughs> Ever. Can. You're like, I'd rather walk. I'd rather just, yeah. Oh my god. You're right. If I ever pull up in a Bolt EV, you know I've hit rock bottom. Don't step there. I don't know why. All right, Ford, what's this? Oh, the Fusion. Oh man. You know, you know, Chris was trying to get me to get a one of the Ford Fiesta. Oh hell no, dude. He's like, you should get a Fiesta or a Fusion, oh, Kayla. And I'm like, what the fuck? All right, all right, Ford. We have some new offerings. Let's have a look at the Kia looking Ford. I don't even know what this is yet. Literally replaced this with the Kia badge. It's the same size, same circle. This is the Kia version. This is the answer to the key. This is the No! Kayla! Kayla! They should have escaped this design! Oh, oh. oh man! Why is the stage not spinning? I'm sorry. If a Kia Soul has a spinning stage, why is the Cobra not have a spinning stage? On what? That SUV? No, the block. The light up block. Yeah. That's Let's go find out what that light up block is, shall we? Talk about a gaming PC. There you go. That's one thing my setup doesn't do. I have everything else though. The screens. That would make me sick. Same. Wait, if he drifted, this thing would turn with him. Yeah. Is this car worth going blind about? Let's see. Oh, it's an ST. Ford Edge ST. Oh my god. I... <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh boy. Why is, why is this a big deal? I don't know. It's popular right now. Everybody has an edge. I don't get why though. They're okay, but. I guess Ford couldn't be bothered to have an actual GT here. I don't know why. I mean, we got the new Corvette here, but no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now, 
all of you saw that Twister Orange, that actually is the color, Twister Orange of our Shelby GT500 in the far left corner over here, uh, my left side when you first walked in. Now that vehicle is a power beast, so it's got 625 pound feet of torque, it does 0 to 60, 3 and a half seconds, it turns a quarter mile. Happening. Under 11 seconds is a 5.2 liter V8 engine with a 2.65 liter yeah. supercharger. But can anyone tell me how much horsepower that thing turns out? Anyone? How much horsepower does Shelby GT500 have? Yes, correct. You didn't look that up, did you? All right. So 760 horsepower. Now, on my far right side, we've got all of our pickup trucks. We've got everything from our Rangers, uh, F-150s, our entire F-Series pickup line, and of course our Raptor. Speaking of our F-Series, I don't know if anyone knows this, but the F-Series for our Ford pickup line has been America's best-selling pickup truck in history. You're close. That actually is my question. For how many consecutive years has the F-Series been America's best-selling pickup truck? No? Nope. Someone was close with the 42. 43 years, that is correct. For 43 years, the oh, F Series has been America's best selling pickup truck. Now, <laughs> start of the show, right? Our Mustang Mach E SUV. I mentioned three. this before, a lot of numbers have been thrown out here. Can anyone tell me? How far can I go on a single charge? That is correct. You can go with, uh, with so with our five different trip levels. On the, low, on the uh, entry level, you can go 210 miles on a single charge. However, on our top of the line, GT, we can go up to 300 miles on a single charge. Now, can anyone tell me, we do have in the inside here, there was a lot of talk and there's a lot of things going on on the internet that you can see here. Can anyone tell me how large the inside touch screen is? You are close, gentlemen, over to my left set, 15 inches. 15 and a half inches, congratulations, young man. You do get a hat. Now we do have a truck, and if anyone looks on the internet, you'll also see right under here, we don't have an engine because it is all electric. We have another truck here. What? A truck, all if electric. anyone knows what that. I didn't um, know that. We do have, uh, so you can use your phone as a key. Uh, when you walk up close to the car, it actually comes out flush. So it is flush like this. You can push the button and it comes right out. Now, I know the question comes into uh, charging locations. Now. We have the largest charging network here in the U.S., actually the largest. Can anyone tell me exactly how many charging stations there are in the U.S. to charge your right. all-new Mustang electric Mach-E SUV? Anyone? Been doing this for a decade. How many charging right. locations? And if you are a loss for words, we do have information to the left and to the right. Anyone? How many thousands of charging locations can we charge our room? Yes, sir. Correct. 12,500. Now, that is the last of my hats. However, look that up. Uh, we do have Ford's money away. And I know what you're thinking. How can I get Ford's money? Up. Very simple. Uh, just come see one of our product <laughs> specialists, myself, or any of my colleagues in the front. We have like the first 50 people can sign up. You just uh, receive an email from us. It's an invitation, show exclusive to offer only here at the Kansas City Auto Show. You bring that email invitation to any of your local Ford dealerships anywhere in the U.S any of the 50 states, test drive a car. As long as you're 18 years or older and you have a valid driver's license, oh, you test drive a car, have a little bit of fun of our fine, you for doing you so, go. Ford yeah, all good. will send you a $50 MasterCard. There is no catch. You don't have to sign anything. You don't have to buy or lease anything. You just join right in our cars. This is also the escape? Yep, yeah, it's also the escape. It's also the escape. I know, right? The Mustang's not even an SUV, but they wanted to sell. They chose the Mustang name because they wanted to sell their car. They wanted to sell their all-electric SUV. Mustang Mach-E. Mach-E, Mach-E. Mach-E. And then we got something. What the hell is that in the middle? All right, we gotta go to this car real quick. Is this even a car? Are you, go to the thing right there. How you, how you drive it? Okay, well, that's that's cool, I guess. Anyway. Future, future. 
pizza that'll never come to. Yeah. Anyway, here's Porsche. All right. Why would you put a bunch of stuff on your porch? Oh, because it's a race one. Okay. Fair enough. I want to turn to play fours on the dizzy chair. No, I want to turn. Well, because everybody wants to put it on the thing. Yeah, I'm like, bro, just go home and download it. It's free. You can download a free trial. Let's play it. Yeah, but you don't get the same experience. Oh, you know, if you get in a novice chair, you can spin around and you turn corners. Hate, hate, hate. <laughs> what? You. <laughs> Dude, you'd know damn sure if there wasn't a fucking line, you'd be up in there. No. Whatever. No. I got better <laughs> things to do than play Forza on a spinny chair. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just, I just don't know. Good FBI surveillance van up in here. Look at that. You can put so much. Kidnapping van, FBI surveillance. It's all the same. Bank heist. Hell yeah, dude. I don't know though. I don't know if this engine is fast enough to get away in a bank heist. People seem to walk away when I come by. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh yeah, let's not forget about Ford's Japanese brand, Mazda. This is the Mazda 3. Yep. Didn't your best friend drive a Mazda? I don't have a best friend except you. So, <laughs> what are you talking about? What was that, Mazda 6? I don't know who you're talking about though. <laughs> Oh, they redid it. What are they doing? They made it all. They like chopped it off or something. Something would look weird back here. Besides, the badging looks weird. It's not all italicized anymore, so it doesn't look like it's going fast now. Slow the car down. Mazda. <laughs> oh, look at the inside. It looks so basic, dude. Hell no. It's like you have to wear the car to get in. Right, you yeah, can you imagine an wrecking in this? Yeah, you're just fucking, you're done. Die. Yeah. Oh man. Oh boy. Oh, see. Porsche's down here too. See, that's where all the jokes stop and all the seriousness comes out. Mm. Smell the Mercedes, I'll say. Lick the Mercedes. Feel the Mercedes. Be the Mercedes. Wait, they're over here. It is. Thank you. Please say that again. Like, Buick is an old people brand. Yes, I agree. So I feel. Yes. But my sister Loki did have a really nice. Buick. I had a nice one too, but I was like, man, this is old people car. Yeah, that's what I feel. Ooh. Is this the LFA? Last? No, LFA. I like this color though. I like this car though. This is a Lexus. I like the color. color. That's nice. Oh, it's the LC. Oh, that's it? Only. That's it? It's affordable, dude. Oh, the F Sport. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, we put a badge on the bumper. Yeah. The I see I like these, the IS 350. They're nice. Mm. I like it. It's like a dookie brown dude. No, it's not. LS 500. Okay, it's a sparkly dookie. Alright. Warning. Key system error. See owner's manual. Spot. All right. Hyundai. Yeah, we'll go there in a second, but we go come here first. Hyundai. Okay. <laughs> I like this color. It's like a, like between a red and the orange. Yeah. Like a burnt. It's really pretty. Gee, I wonder what card this is. You think the badge is big enough? <laughs> in a sec. Just gotta take in the ooh. 
but I am not trying to have no clip run out on me in this area. So I started a fresh if, new clip. If I were to get right. any 10 Mercedes, I'd probably get it. But that's because I like There's big cars. There's so many to choose from, though. Okay, I'm just telling you. The Jeep Wagon starts at 250000 You know, once... <laughs> but that's okay. Once I'm rich. Oh, you buy me one. Thanks, Frank. Yeah, why not? Everybody gets one. Everybody. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at these Mercedes Benzes. Nice. There you go. Take your kids in the GLB 250. All right. Oh, boy. That's a whole lot to unpack is what that is. Anyway, we're gonna just keep going along this way. Why, why, why? This is GLA 250. Why? I don't know. This is like the Kia Soul of Benz. It's very nice. I pick it over a Kia Soul, no problem. No, I don't need it. I'm saying if you had to pick. You got this one. GLC 300. I said, you know what? Mine. This is the 2020. The 2020. And people are like, yeah, why do they go old and boxy? It's because they don't really change the design of these. They don't have to. I like it. They're beautiful. Exactly. Yeah. I you know you would too because it's like kind of jeepish, you know? Yeah. yeah. This is a bad motherfucker. V8 bit turbo AMG. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. So nice. So, so, so nice. This is nice. It's nice little two door. Yeah, of course it's old. See, they'd be selling cars while they're here. Pretending to film you right now, but I'm not. Because it's weird. It is. That's what I was going to They were taking pictures on the car earlier. Okay. I know. Really Porsche has like three cars. But we're going to enjoy these three cars that they have. Here's Porsche. There's Jaguar. I mean, this is really just one lane here. That's it. That is a nice Porsche, though. Very nice. I even like the blue one. It's because it's four-door. This is the four-door Porsche. Isn't that nice? I don't like the back. Oh, I do. 
I love on that. this one I do not know. And a Mara 4. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Get in my car. Right. Can't even get in it. Yep, this is the drug dealer SUV right here. Mine? Drug dealing SUV. Mine? Oh, really? Is that what you do? Maybe what you said about me? <laughs> that took me a second to realize what the <laughs> fuck you are. What's up, dude? What oh, you doing? Like, we, I'm up, this, up here, looking at our cars. Yeah, recording. Nick, Nick up there? No, he'll be up here tomorrow. Uh, dude, okay. I thought you were recording. This dude I don't like. Oh, oh I was shit. Like, I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> it's Tyler. Really Hold on a second. Off. I was like, y'all look similar. He's a little bit taller. Though. I was like, everybody looks like me. Yeah. So, he's just Tyler. How you been? I've been good. What you been up to? Just working. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Attention, Zachary Rogers. Zachary Rogers. Please go to the Ford exhibit. Zachary Rogers, please go to the Ford exhibit. Zachary Rogers, please go to the Ford exhibit. You think you heard him? <laughs> it's small, small, small pet peeve I have. If you're getting in and out of these cars, do not lay your purse or keys or whatever hit the paint job. I know it's not your car. I didn't get, you really probably don't even give a fuck. But it drives me nuts when people just let their shit hit the paint job. Oh, hell yeah. All right, so we got a prototype. Hold on. Sorry, it ran, ran over. It's not bad. It's pretty dope, actually. But yeah, like, just be curious. I actually really like Something. Yeah, I do too. Let's get more. Let me get some more footage of that. So they've won you over, Kayla? No, maybe I'll hold out. Yeah. What's up, dude? What's up, bro? Hey, How you doing? How you doing? Pretty good. Pretty Chilling, good. Taking him to see. I think. Uh, I think. I'm pretty sure Nick's coming up here tomorrow. Oh, is he? Yeah. Is so he. he Marley? Maybe. Uh, he may be by himself. I know he's working right now, so. But yeah. Oh yeah, man. Good yeah. seeing you, bro. You too, man. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Is it locked? Yeah. Yeah, vehicle's locked. Okay. I low-key like this. Like, I really like this. I can't believe it's only 49. This and the guys said they haven't even come out with the Defender since like the 60s. Oh, bringing back an old name. It's dope. But again, obviously, probably because it resembles a Jeep. I like boxy cars. Yeah. We know this. But I like that. I'll do. At least for only $9.99 a month. Zero do a signing. I can do that. <laughs> no problem. Now, when it came to paying the $9.99 after 30 days, that's what I'm like, oh, here you go. I'm good. That's a, that's a house I know. You want to live in your mom's house? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, think about it. Oh, here's the Alfa Romeo Giulia, which I like. Oh, I like the red interior in this one. Ooh. Okay. That's dope. That's so cool. These damn kids up in these cars. I know. Mercedes. You know how I'd be rolling around in that Mercedes, you know what I'm saying? Very expensive kidnapping perhaps. Alright, they have a British accent. Get in the car. Unhand me, sir. <laughs> Get in the car. Get in the fucking car. Here I go. Sorry, is this a delivery van or is this a party? I mean, what is it? <laughs> Bro, it's got seats in the back. This could be a party bus. Let's, let's be honest. This is so big. It's amazing. I 
Yeah, I drive a Benz. Okay, so the VW area, meh. They had a couple golfs, nothing crazy, a Passat, a GLI. Whatever, it's whatever. It's, it's okay if you like this stuff. But now, we are at Subaru. And boy, boy. Really nothing I'd already seen, but still, it's Subaru. Let's take a look. Subaru loves pets. Yes, they do. They got doggies in there? I think so. Let's go, let's look. Either, but I know what the WRX the STI looks like when I see one. One thing is this color or black. They have certain colors, but yes. my, yeah. My cousin has this one, but she has like the colored rims. Yeah. What is this? Oh, this is Hyundai. Look at the new Sonata. Like, okay, so Hyundai, I re actually respect Hyundai. I know it's a Kia, but it's like a luxury Kia. These are really nice. Really nice. And these you don't even see on the road yet. Because they're brand new. They're about to be on the road. Now this one you see on the road, but that one, this one's brand new. Look at that. So nice. I even like the accents on the inside. Look at this. Look at this. It's not bad. Yeah. This is not a bad car. I'd pick it over the Soul, even though they're basically the same thing. You know what I mean? I don't know, something about it is just a little different. I like it. I don't mind it at all. I like the color. I do like the color. Not bad, not bad. And then, uh, so, you know, Kia has a Telluride. This is Hyundai's version. It doesn't have a dumb name like that. It's actually a little bit better name. It's the Palisade. Oh. The Palisade? That's, I prefer to say that than Telluride. Oh my gosh. Tell my ride what? This one, this, everything I hear Telluride, tell my ride what? It's pretty 
really dope. Really big. What's your YouTube channel? Actually, <laughs> it's, it's Danny Minnick, so look me up. Alright. Alright. Sounds like a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, it does sound like a dinosaur. So my friend Day drives one. Huh? My friend Day drives one. I think it's gray or white. I forget. Day, tell me. Oh, he doesn't have like the periwinkle blue? No, he don't have. Is that what this is? I don't know. <laughs> Powder blue. With red accents. It's pretty cool. pretty dope. Okay. He doesn't like the new ones though. I don't know why. I do. Oh. My friend Day who's got one. He's got the old model. Uh, I think he's got the Gen 1 and this is Gen oh, 2. Wow. Ooh. I like this one. That's dope. Oh, look at the back. Yeah. However, you cannot lift in this car. It only has three doors and not four. I like this. So, it's not bad. It's a TLX. Why is it rubbed off? It's just a TLX. Because it's new? So what? A spec? Cool. Why is it rubbed off though? <laughs> Where's a good station at? Heck, you open this. Oh, it's locked. It's locked. Yeah, uh, of course it is. You know, yeah. <laughs> right behind the seats. <laughs> NSX. Acura SX. This is my second one I've had in, the, in on my channel. First one was white. <laughs> they started at 157,000, and of course they have it locked. Oh. Yes. You see that? Because I don't need that XL. All right. Kayla, sit in it. Or close the door, make it make it move, yeah. Why you not do it? Why not go back up? There it goes. Ha, that's dope. Yeah. I definitely need that too. <laughs> Same. Oh yeah. No, that's that's some luxury. Yeah? Yeah. Look at that big sunroof. It's huge. It's all nice. Yeah, it's nice. So much <coughs> truck room. Yep. This is, Daniel wants something like this. And they're like 80,000 these days. These, like, trucks are becoming luxury, in case you haven't noticed. Look, look at this one. See her elevation. This is like 44. This is only 44, Kayla. Yeah, but I can't get up in it. Oh, we don't have the thing. Ugh. The actuator. It's okay, my Jeeps don't either. Yeah. <laughs> It's nice. It's very nice. Sunroof as well, just closed. I think it's a sunroof. Are those sunroofs or no? Is it just a divot? No, there's no sunroof. Oh, it's a divot. Yeah, I had sunglasses on. All right, no sunroof. I like the Denali better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the, it's the package. 
That's what Denali is. I don't know if you know that. It's a, it's a, uh, a package. You got all your stuff, your wallet and everything? Yeah, it's just there. Okay, good. Like that Denali. I like Silverado's too. I do too. <laughs> but when they start putting shit like the RST in the Silverado, you might as well buy Denali. <laughs> Same price, just about. <laughs> Look at that. So nice though. I'd say it's all around good show. <laughs> worth twelve dollars, I think. Did you say worth or worth? It was worth twelve dollars. Oh, of course, you didn't pay nothing, but yeah. Wow. I got you, fam. Wow. I had to bribe her, guys. And they come me. She's like, no, there's no way. I said, I'll pay your way. Like, I guess. Okay. That's not. That's not at all what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so How before. Is. Kayla's a broke bitch. <laughs> before we leave, we're gonna go back over at the jeeps one more time. To make sure Kayla still likes them, in case she forgets. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going there now. Get in. Well, I'm gonna wait. My turn. Yeah. Well, does he go back or not? Never mind. Nah. Nah. Okay, the seat don't go back. So. Why not? I'm about to fit in that. I'm good. Oh my <laughs> gosh. What? <laughs> I can't, no, I, I'm good. Oh my God. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The seat doesn't go back. I'm not getting in there. I'll get in the passenger seat. I'll, I'll get in the passenger seat, though. Yeah, it's low. It's very low. Hold it. I'm used to getting. Oh, like jumping out, <laughs> yeah. not crawling yeah, like out. <laughs> this is quite different from a Jeep. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, you're paying, you're paying for that. I wonder what edition this one is. Well, that's a prototype. Yeah. I feel like I might as well be squatting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it is quite, quite small, but very nice. Uh -huh. I can't find guys in the Supra. That's tight. <laughs> oh my goodness, getting out of it though. Yeah. I mean, I get over it, but. <laughs> like, it was. That's dope. There's got to be a way for the seat to come back because the seat is far Yeah, it's just, over there. there's there's no power to the car. Yeah. But yeah, no. But wow. Me and Kelly got to sit in the Supra. Which is big because they're they're oh, just now I got coming to sit out. In the driver's seat. I know, I know. <laughs> in fact, I got to touch one. Here. So. <laughs> But not for real, it was like crawling out of there. Right. I'm more like a hop out cut girl. <laughs> like I said, it's different from a Jeep. You used to hop out. I know, out. I'm yeah. just saying, I can, I can climb in anything, but I ain't climbing out of here. <laughs> you know, like crawling out. Yeah. I ain't about, I, I'm too big for all that. <laughs> Same. Okay. Well, I think that's it. I guess we can leave. You ready? Yeah. All right. Where the hell is the exit? You came in over there by Honda. Oh yeah, we did. We're gonna leave by Honda. But yeah, all in all, what a good show. Not bad. It is a lot, you said it. No, I'm just saying it's like a lot. Oh, a lot. I mean, it's kind of big. Nice sunroof. Really nice luggage right This is huge. This is way bigger than your Jeep, dude. No, I have a really small Jeep. Like, I, I, Maybe that's why it looks so big to but me. Remember you, but remember the reason why it looks, the reason why the Patriot looks so big to me is because remember I had a grand day, I had a little grand day on. Yeah. So when I got in the Patriot, I was like, there's so much fucking space. <laughs> there, now I'm just like, it's so small. Right. <laughs> I think it's all big. My next, my next vehicle is going to be big. Dude, same, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it depends because I mean Daniel and I we want we want a bigger SUV. He wants a truck. Yeah. I want a bigger SUV, so I figured we could possibly get that. He said that we'll keep my my car like for the dogs, but I he said I can pick the doggies. But they ain't getting in the new car. No. They're gonna drive. They got their own car. That's how you do it.